Hey everybody, it's Melissa and I'm gonna be unboxing this new niche fragrance that I've had for maybe a couple months or a month or so from Oh Man Luxury. It's called Flower Lush. I don't, okay, hold on. I have never tried anything from this brand and this is like a pop goes the weasel type of thing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Don't y'all love that I don't edit this? Just fast forward 15 seconds. Jeez, that was, that was tough. All right. Let's see, I don't want it to fall out. Oh my gosh. See, I knew that I had to do this, but it was already kind of coming open, so. Damn, bro. This is kind of frustrating, but it doesn't matter. We got it. Almost. Almost. All right. Now I'm sure that we got... Oh, sh it almost fell off. Okay. It was supposed to come in this way, and I opened it the wrong way. But this one, here it is. Flower Lush. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a Louis Vuitton bottle. Just a little bit. Magnetic cap, huh? I don't know, what do we think? What do we think of that? Let's see. I do like the bottle. More feminine fragrance off the bat. Little touch of powderiness, definitely a floral scent. I'm getting a little bit of woodiness and some spices. That's what I'm getting before I put it to my nose. Little bit of spices in the background, touch of woodiness. Okay, definitely, okay, incense now. All right, this thing is a, this is a pretty complex type of fragrance. Now for sure, it's like woody, incense-y. With a little bit of sweetness there. I will tell you right off the bat that Flower Lush is, this is not the type of fragrance I would wear. For one, the kind of weather that I live in, it's not gonna do well. This is gonna, this is coming across as more of a sweet fragrance or a nighttime sort of scent. I know I said feminine off rip, but I could see this more as a unisex scent um, as it's starting to dry down. And now I have to sneeze one second. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I will say, Something that's coming to my mind is this, this reminds me kind of of my grandmother, a little bit. It has my grandmother at church, if you will, okay? Maybe the church because of the incense stuff. It's giving church pews. Um, fragrances like this aren't really my forte. Again, I don't know the notes of this fragrance, and this is not a sponsored video, by the way. None of my videos up to this point have been sponsored. Um, and I, regardless if I, when I do get sponsored videos in the future, hopefully, fingers crossed, I will not stop that from sharing my honest opinion. Um, and I appreciate the free bottle of this scent, but it's not doing it for me. Um, it's kind of like, for me, I don't find it to be as wearable. It's, it's just reminding me, it's, how do I say this? Like, you know, when you're at church, you smell all these different sort of things, but it's like, would you want to smell like that? Not really. This can be a comforting smell to some people. It could be nostalgic or it can, you know, if you're an avid churchgoer, you could be like, oh yeah, this reminds me of church and it'll give you that homey sort of feeling. Um, but it, it's not something that I find very attractive. It's... Yeah, I, I can't even say that I find it to be like a niche heads type of fragrance, even though between a mass appealing scent and like a niche connoisseurs type of fragrance, this would definitely fall more in the niche connoisseur kind of direction. But it really does remind me of my grandmother at church. Really. Um, not really getting much flower lush, at least on my skin, this is heavy incense. That is definitely what I'm picking up here. The woodiness has kind of drifted to the background. Like I said, it's the incense and you're sitting in church pews. That's the type of woodiness that I'm getting here. So, 
gosh, it smells like Easter. Like Easter mess. Like I, I really don't have much to say about it. You know what? I will say this. After this video, I am going to wash it off of my wrist. I know that I try to let you guys know about longevity and stuff. And let me tell you what's interesting is whenever I have a fragrance that I am not a fan of, it always performs over six to eight hours. There has never been a fragrance I didn't like that had the worst performance. For some reason, whenever I don't like something, it loves to stick to my skin and make itself known the whole time. So if you're somebody that likes this sort of DNA, I can just, I'm gonna make the assumption, which is most likely probably gonna be correct, that this is gonna have good performance. All right, situation-wise, um, I definitely see this in, if you are gonna wear it, don't wear it in the high heat. If you are gonna wear it in the summertime because you want to, make sure that where you go is air conditioned. Um, I see this more of a cold weather type of fragrance. Age range, I would say this, this reminds me of like 60s, not even 60s. This is giving me like 70s, 80s and up. Yeah. So when you put it into perspective, 60 years old is, is still pretty young. 70 is pretty young. My grandma's turning 90. So that is, that is where this is taking me right now. Her and her Filipino friends at church, like they're wearing like the white thing over their, their head. You know, that is exactly what I'm getting with this fragrance. This is not the type of scent I would wear outside, especially to social gatherings. Um, I don't find this to be a compliment getter type of fragrance. This fragrance screams, yes, I have candy in my bag. Do you want some of this off-brand candy? It's not gonna be a Tootsie Roll. It's gonna be the off-brand, off-brand version of a Tootsie Roll. There's probably gonna be some lollipops that are already stuck to the wrapper um, when they give it to you, but there's gonna be hauls, right? This smells like you have a purse with hauls, off-brand, off-brand Tootsie Rolls, uh, lollipops that are already hot and sticky, um, maybe some like a like a makeup you know like a what's it called the makeup mirror with like the foundation or the powder with lipstick in there definitely a lot of tissues um a prayer card some quarters yeah glasses holder for sure that's that's exact that is what's in your bag if you wear this fragrance that's what's in your bag i i know it I already know it, all right? So I know that it's, I said that it, aside from my association, thinking of my grandmother, I do find this to be a unisex fragrance. Like if a guy in the fragrance community, a route like that has thousands of fragrances already, it's like, oh, I'm gonna get this brand, I'm gonna wear this. I could kind of sort of see that vibe going on. It's not dark, mysterious though. I know with incense and woody notes, your, my mind at least goes to, okay, maybe it's like a, a bit of a dark brooding sort of scent. I, I don't get that um, at all. But who knows, maybe with your skin chemistry, you just might. But this to me should be called like incense lush. Or this should be called 10 a.m. mass. You know what I mean? So let me know if you've tried this fragrance from Omen Luxury. Um, shout out. And uh I will I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Take care. Bye.